When a bus arrives at the bus stop, look at its destination and confirm that it is the bus that you want to ride. Do not approach the bus until it has stopped and its doors have opened. Note that the bus schedule may change depending on whether it is a weekday, a Saturday, a Sunday, or a holiday. Be careful to check the correct schedule. Getting on a bus. When the bus that you want to ride comes to a stop at the bus stop, get on the bus. The buses in Fukuyama City have their entrances in the center of the bus. You enter from the center and exit from the front. When you get on the bus, tap your PASP IC card or Ikoka card to the card reader at the entrance. It will make a beeping sound. If you do not have an IC card, you can pay in cash when you get off the bus. In order to pay in cash, take a white boarding ticket as soon as you get on the bus. This ticket is necessary when you pay in cash, so be careful not to lose it. Note that boarding tickets are not dispensed at the bus's first departure stop. The Mawaro's bus line runs throughout central Fukuyama and it is the same price no matter where you ride. There are no boarding tickets for Mawaro's buses. When you get on a bus, take a seat before the bus begins moving. If there are no open seats, hold onto a strap or handrail. How to read a bus fare chart. At the front of the bus is a chart that shows the bus fare. At the very top of this chart is the name of the next bus stop. Below that is the bus fare. Those with a boarding ticket with the number 1 will pay the amount listed next to that number. The amount that you need to pay will increase as the bus goes further away from where you got on the bus. Make sure to check the bus fare before getting off the bus. Receiving change for larger bills and coins. Wait until the bus is stopped to change larger bills and coins for smaller change. You can receive change for 50 yen, 100 yen, and 500 yen coins, as well as 1,000 yen bills. However, you cannot make change for 5,000 yen and 10,000 yen bills. getting off a bus. When you hear the name of the bus stop that you want to go to, press the stop button. Remain in your seat until the bus stops and the door opens. It is dangerous to stand and walk in the bus while it is moving. when getting off a bus. In Fukuyama City, you pay the bus fare when you get off a bus. When the bus stops, go to the front of the bus. Hold your IC card to the card reader.
If you do not have an IC card, place your boarding ticket and cash payment into the cash box. After paying the bus fare, get off the bus through its front door. When getting off the bus, be careful of bicycles and pedestrians. Many people ride the bus. Be careful to follow the rules and manners of the bus. If there are many people on the bus and it is difficult to move to the front door when you want to get off the bus, ask people to move by saying, Sumimasen, orimasu. Separating and disposing of garbage. How to properly dispose of garbage. In Fukuyama City, there are six main categories of garbage. One, combustible waste. Two, plastic containers and packaging waste. Three, recyclable waste. Four, non-combustible waste. Five, combustible bulky waste. Six, used batteries, video cassette tapes, lighters, and fluorescent lights. Seven, there are also items that are not collected by Fukuyama City. The following garbage sorting rules and the days on which you take out each type of garbage may be different depending on your area. Make sure to follow the correct garbage rules of your area. Combustible waste. Combustible waste, also known as burnable garbage, is garbage that is able to be burned. This category includes kitchen and food garbage, leather and rubber products, paper, fabrics, sticks and other waste wood, and some items made of plastic. Things to be careful of when disposing of combustible waste. Cut large objects so that they are less than 50 centimeters long. Pointed objects, such as meat skewers, can be dangerous. Cut these kinds of objects into small pieces and wrap them in paper before disposing of them. Metal objects cannot be burned. If your garbage contains metal parts that cannot be removed, dispose of the object as non-combustible waste instead. Plastic containers and packaging waste. This category consists of plastic containers and packaging waste. This includes plastic objects such as bottles, trays, cups, food packaging, tubes, bags, plastic film, and drug packaging. These objects are marked with a plastic recycling symbol or a pet recycling symbol. Garbage with these symbols can be recycled. Here are details on how to recycle some specific plastic items. Plastic bottles. 
After using up the contents of the plastic bottle, remove the lid and label. Clean the bottle by rinsing it with water. Dispose of the lid, label, and bottle into the same garbage bag. Note that while these items can all go into the same garbage bag, the lid and label must first be removed from the bottle. Trays, cups, food packaging, and tubes. Remove or use up the contents of the tray, cup, food packaging, or tube. Clean the item by rinsing it with water. It is okay if some discoloring remains. Dispose of the item as plastic waste. Snack packaging. Remove or use up the contents of the snack packaging. Check for crumbs or parts of the snack item remaining in the packaging. Discard of any remaining crumbs or parts of the snack item. Dispose of the packaging as plastic waste. Even if there is a recycling symbol, there are some plastic items that cannot be recycled. Dispose of the following types of plastic as combustible waste instead. Plastic that remains dirty even after rinsing, heavily damaged items, and items used as crafts, such as plastic bottles colored with markers. Things to be careful of when disposing of plastic containers and packaging waste. Do not put smaller bags of garbage into larger bags, and do not double bag your garbage. The contents of your garbage bag must be visible from the outside. Recyclable waste. Recyclable waste is waste that can be reused. This category includes glass bottles, metal cans, metal products, and stove and fan heaters. Things to be careful of when disposing of glass bottles and metal cans. Use up the contents of glass bottles or metal cans before disposing of them. For spray cans or gas cartridges, use up the contents completely. After emptying the contents, make a hole in the spray can or gas cartridge. When doing so, be careful to keep away from fire. Dispose of the spray can or gas cartridge in a separate garbage bag from your other recyclable waste. If you do not make a hole in spray cans or gas cartridges, there is a chance that they could start a fire. Non-combustible waste. Non-combustible waste consists of objects that cannot be burned or objects that are broken. This category includes small household appliances, non-recyclable glass products, knives or other bladed objects, and ceramic products. Things to be careful of when disposing of non-combustible waste. Objects up to 2 meters in length can be disposed of as non-combustible waste. Remove any batteries before disposing of non-combustible waste products. Glass fragments, knives, shaving blades, and other objects can be dangerous.
Wrap these objects in newspaper and write Kiken in red letters. Kiken means danger. Combustible bulky waste. Combustible bulky waste consists of large objects that can be burned, such as wooden furniture and bedding. Remove glass and metal pieces from furniture and bedding when possible. Wooden objects can be discarded as combustible bulky waste. used batteries, video cassette tapes, lighters, and fluorescent lights. This category consists of used batteries, video cassette tapes, lighters, and fluorescent lights. Dispose of each of the items in this category separately from one another. Before disposing of button cell batteries, wrap them in cellophane tape. These types of waste are not collected very often. Furthermore, the location where you dispose of these objects may be different from your usual garbage collection area. Be sure to check the garbage collection schedule for your area.